So, welcome back to Glencoe. And firstly, let me apologise because it's been a while since I put out uh, a vlog on anywhere really in Scotland. Last time I done was uh, over the Christmas and New Year period. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be revealing uh, the winner of my Glencoe Photography Workshop, where I'll be showing you all around Glencoe, acting as a guide, helping you on your photography, and uh, showing you some spectacular scenery. Anyway, enough of apologising, and uh, let's get on with the, the show, shall we? So, welcome to Glencoe, and uh, in this episode, I'm going to be showing you hopefully some spectacular scenery firstly i'm going to make a revisit to one of my favorite locations which is the river Coupal, and i've got my special pants on where i can actually get into the water and get the shot i've been after for a long long time so let's get down there and uh show you some uh decent compositions bye for now hi guys and welcome back and uh, this is exactly what I'm going to be doing. So, I'm going to be pushing down into the River Co. Please just don't try this unless uh, you're fully equipped, got yourself a pair of waders, or it's summertime you can get in there in your shorts. But in wintertime it's a different aspect. You will go down for hypothermia if you haven't got the right gear on. So, what I'm planning to do is get in the River Co. Uh, River Coupal, sorry, and uh, get shots of this lovely leading lines of these cascades just behind me here you can see there's two of them one two and i've got a shot of this before here's a picture so that was a picture i got before i'm going to push down into the water get some really nice close-up shots hopefully the the actual buco is going to light up a bit more than that hopefully and uh get some fantastic images i'll talk you through exactly what i'm doing while i'm in the water so let's get down there, the camera's set up in the background and I'll speak to you when I'm down there. Bye for now. Look at that. So guys, I'm just uh, making my way round to where I want to be. Using uh, maximum care while I'm here because the rocks are slippery. And I'm actually better going round the other way on this side of the rock here. So you've seen me in a minute. I'm just going to disappear out of the picture. So guys, I hope you can uh, see me. I'm actually in the water now. And there's a couple of photographies behind me thinking, what the heck is he doing? But you've got to sacrifice that little bit of pain and the coldness to get that image. And my settings for this one, I'm on a circular polarizer, 0.6 grad for the sky. F11, ISO 100, one eighth of a second, firing away. Slow that down to just about a quarter of a second just. Probably need a three stop on for that. But beautiful shot. Hi guys, so still on the River Cooper at the minute and I've just seen a lovely cascade that I'd love love it to be part of my foreground with a bugle in the background the bugle just lighting up there at the top of the peaks gorgeous I must emphasize please do not try this at home getting in the river Cooper with strong currents it's quite mild today but it's it will still sweep you off your feet and make sure you're dressed for it as well now I'm just gonna jump down here because I cannot get the angle I want. You know, they're saying, I'll oh, just take it from the rocks. I cannot get the angle I want from the rocks itself. So I'm just gonna have to get in the water and get the angle looking up from this little cascade down here onto the vehicle. So let's get down there.
and the current is actually quite strong. And that is pretty getting deep now. And that is, see what I mean, it's just off the rock itself, so I'm not getting that angle on it. And because the current is strong, I really do having to bed my tripod in. Absolutely beautiful. Really happy with that shot there. So let me get my bum out of this position here. Find a nice steady point. Oh, there we go. So guys, really happy with the shots I got just down here. Nice cascade in the foreground, looking onto the bugle itself. I'm now gonna pack up here unless I see something uh, a bit more what I like. This is an all day job here in River Coupal. So much compositions to take. I wanna get my bum round now to uh, sort of looking into Glencoe, but definitely focus on the, on the bugle itself. So I'm gonna push down into a uh, River Etif. See you there. Welcome back guys, so this is what our, my main thing I want to show you is, is there's a, a burn, Old Cam Gilly I think it's called, and it, Gilly Falls, sorry for my pronunciation on that, but the, the burn is just behind me over here up here and that's where I'll be going. I'll need to recce out um, a route across this river first because it's a long walk in from the other side by the King's House Bridge and then all the way up across the moorland. So hopefully I'm going to find a nice river crossing, get across, start climbing up into that sort of re-entrant up there in the background <coughs> and uh, get some nice cascades of rivers with a bucal in front of me, behind you, in show. So let's get on. Welcome back guys. So uh, I've gone for option two. The uh, Granative River is far too powerful for me to cross. I was up to my waistline in it and wanted to sweep away from a cu current and I uh, would have been under. So that was a no-no. So I've gone for option two, which was see the bridge back down here. I've just parked the other side of the bridge and decided to cross all of this moorland. It should be about 20 minutes to get here, but be warned, wear good footwear because your feet will, or Gore-Tex socks or gaiters, because your feet will end up absolutely soaking wet. So yes, look, lucky enough, I'm wearing uh, waders. So, and this is definitely aiding my photography in uh, Glencoe, it really is, get into the rivers into the waterfall areas, get some nice close-up shots. But anyway, that's what I'm hoping to do anyway. So um, you can just about see the waterfalls just in the background here, just about. And I'm pushing over there, and hopefully get a nice sunset on the bucle itself. It's lighting up just on that curve of the ridge there, isn't it? Lovely. So anyway, let's uh, push on and uh, get more out of breath, because I'm, I'm plummoxed. Right, speak to you in a minute. Bye for now. So guys, that's me now here at the uh, location where, which I've been dying to show you for a long, long time. And the light behind you now in front of me is just hitting the bugle. I'll make this quick because I'll get the camera out in a minute. I'm here. Three words on the screen now for where this place is. 
And believe me, you want to make the effort crossing that moorland to get here. The reason why I know this was here, I came out off uh, Crease one year, long, long time ago, many, many moons. And they came down here, but there wasn't much water going across it. But now, winter time, oh yeah, it, even in the uh, end of February, it's going to be cascading over here. But anyway, I'm winding you up. Let me just turn that camera around for you and show you because it's absolutely beautiful. And it just looks something out of a picture from an Icelandic view. But beautiful view for Scotland. Uh, yeah, let, stop waffling, let me show you. So let me get the camera and come across. So guys, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous for a waterfall? Looking under the vehicle, natural leading line, lovely cascade waterfall. Oh, beautiful. Look at the light hitting that vehicle now. Anyway, let's get my camera out. Let's waffle in and I'll speak to you in a minute. Bye for now. So guys, what I've been doing here is uh, taking a few panoramics of the shot as well, getting a waterfall in shot. For that shot there, I was at 16 mil, ISO 100. We've got a 0.6 grad in for the sky. Look at the vehicle just lighting up now. Circular polarizer in. Uh, what was I? F11. I was also shooting at F9 as well. Just get that sharpness of the waterfall. And I was at one eighth of a second. Quite simple, really. What I need to do now is find a nice angle where I can actually get a single shot of this with that vehicle just lighting up now. So what I'm going to have to do is play around with the camera a bit until I find that perfect little angle. So landscape mode, take it all portrait because I was doing landscapes, uh, panoramic, sorry. How beautiful is this location? Look at that waterfall just here, just behind me and looking onto Bucolative Moor just in there. Bucolative Beg just in the background here, which I've been capturing as well. Nice panoramics. Got a few down from here, but I do know a bit further down this uh, little stream, there's a, a lone tree with another little uh, cascade of waterfall. So I'm going to push down there and uh, decide whether I'm going to go firm down there or come back up here for uh, hopefully Fingers crossed, a nice sunset. We'll see how we go. Anyway, I'll report back later when I'm a bit further down the stream. Bye for now. They always say give a, a different perspective to uh, a waterfall. So before I go and do the lone tree, I'm gonna push down to the bottom here and get a view looking up to crease itself that should be spectacular right i'll report back later when i'm down there bye for now i'm pushing it for time at the minute with the light now so i'll catch you in a minute so i've just been down here shooting off some uh, compositions from down in that water looking up to crease but i'm now going to push further down to the uh, overhanging tree and get some shots but look at that absolutely beautiful who would have thought that would be in Glencoe, eh? except me? But now I'm showing you it. So uh, let's push on and uh, I'll see you down at the bottom of this uh, tree. So let's get going. Hi guys, so that's me now at the, uh, the lone tree. Well, not the lone tree, it's an overhanging tree. It's got this lovely cascades of water just leading lines all the way to the actual view call itself. And it's very, very slippery here, as you can tell. So I've just been in the water down here, I'm going to get some more shots, possibly just standing round about there, so I've got this nice leading line to the overhanging tree and onto the buccle itself for a nice sunset shot. That should be really, really nice. And it is dangerous what I'm doing, and, uh, but I'm equipped, I've got a warm kit, I've got waders on, I'm not cold except for my hands getting cold but that's about it and uh, it's absolutely turning out beautiful look at the colour of the sky hopefully it's going to be a nice sunset but we'll see but it makes a difference 
from uh, the, the calendar shot you see with the waterfall and it's a different direction of the water as well and I, I find it you know you go out and you explore these areas and if and this is what you find I mean if I turn the camera around just look at that behind me look oh look at that see absolutely beautiful cascade after cascade after cascade so I'll put this down and I'll talk to you as I'm taking a shot down here in the water and uh, you can see me in action so I'll speak to you in a minute cool I am so happy here very very nice might push down here just for one more shot it's like a little cauldron I don't know if you can see it just down here so I want to try and get the camera nice and in there nice and deep and low get that water coming in the vehicle the tree should be really really nice and uh, see how sunset turns out but if there's no sunset oh well I've had a really good day and I'm glad I've actually shown you this a lot of photographers come to locations and they get the shot and they don't tell you where it is I'm all for sharing my locations where I'm going how I take my photographs and most importantly showing you at home where these places are so you can come and visit them they're for everybody I think I really do so I do hope you visit this place in Glencoe you know it's uh, one place uh, that I'll be visiting in the future especially in the summertime for these glorious sunsets and sunrises but yeah let me just get this shot here and uh, we'll push down a bit further hi guys that's me I'm uh, gonna settle on here for a, a sunset now I'll get my composition what I'm taking just in case you don't believe me when I put the pictures up so I've got this lovely cascade of waterfall leading line all the way to the bugle and there you go simple as that how beautiful is it as well look at it lovely so don't attempt to cross the river out of the cross there because it is far too uh, dangerous to cross I tried it and it's just like oh no no worth the effort right if you're walking across the more 35 minutes tops to get here and just to explore this river is something else and I started all the way back up there and just came down followed it all the way around and I'm just gonna follow finish up here with this lovely cascade of waterfall so good day today fin doing doing what I love doing best and that's photography and uh, got the opportunity to get and your mobile to get to these places please do I do like sharing all these locations with you and uh, do hit that like subscribe I'll see you back in the uh, the photo hub because I've got to do a draw now for one of my workshops and one lucky winner is gonna be uh, having a guided tour all around Glencoe for the day help you with your photography and uh, show you some fantastic locations it's gonna be epic so uh, I'll see you back in the photo hub guys thanks for tuning in and uh, hit the like subscribe uh, see you soon bye for now welcome guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the little vlog there of uh, me exploring the rivers and streams of Glencoe well not so much Glencoe but Glen Etive looking down towards the Bucal and parts of the river uh, Coupal as well but uh, there's a reason why I'm back here my little uh, office spaces and this is where I put all my videos together and uh, edit me images basically and uh, so without further ado the reason why I'm here is I'm going to draw a name out of the hat 50 names gone into the hat itself uh, for commenting workshop on my previous video between Christmas and New Year I, again apologize it's, um, I've been out in the, the field making the videos on a weekly or two weekly basis it's been a while but yeah I'm getting back out there now so let's pull the name out of the hat and see if you've won that workshop shall we so again 50 names gone into the hat let's pull a name out so let's have a look I apologize now if I'm gonna pronounce this wrong Lawrence Schadelli there we go there's your name so get in touch with me via my web page or through social media and we'll arrange a date between October this year and April next year so well done to that winner and uh, 
enjoy the images. Bye for now, folks. Uh, do hit that like, subscribe, and uh, again, enjoy the images. And see you in Scotland soon. Bye.